Hello, hello, boys and girls. It is Friday, uh, January 22nd. It is 10.18 in the morning, and I am in a good mood today. Why? Well, uh, well, first of all, last night I did a presentation, pretty big deal for me. Uh, I'm going to be... Well, it was a presentation for my grad school. I'm going to be uploading the video on my YouTube channel shortly. I need to edit it and, you know, like, make it look better <laughs> than it really was. And, yeah, it will be on my channel within the next few days. Also, remember a couple of days ago I said that... Let's see. I was happy because this is the spy. The spy had finally broken out of this range, and it did so convincingly. That's very good, right? Then, what did it do the next day? The next day, people were like, I think people had a little bit of vertigo, like, oh my god, we're up too high. I said, we, well, actually, this day, we said, great, we broke out of this uh, range. Um, I think we're going to retest this level, and then we'll probably go higher before we go lower. Guess what's happening today? Well, yesterday people had a little bit of vertigo and look where we went today. Right to this level. Who knows what will happen after. But at this point, um, and basing this on just technical analysis alone, I'm not looking at any news, I'm not looking at any um, anything regarding how the world is doing. I'm just looking at this. If we manage to bounce back up to clear this high, yeah, I think we'll keep going higher. Um, at the end of the day, this is nothing but a breakout, retest, and now we're waiting for the continuation, which is my favorite pattern of them all, right? Um, and that is great. I'm actually very, I'm, I get all cozy and fuzzy inside when I, you know, when I nail predictions. And I could be right or I could be wrong because, you know, nobody knows what's going to happen. But when technical analysis does what you think will happen, it feels pretty awesome. Um, and if you don't understand us traders, then so be it. But, you know, we're all geeks and we like this stuff. Anyway, okay, now, what did I do today? Uh, well, I picked up Lemonade, and for some reason, every time I say this name, um, I wanna, I wanna, I, I remind myself of the song Lollipop, Lollipop, right? I don't know why, but anyway, I picked up Lemonade here, right there, boom. Um, I said that admittedly, I had jumped the gun a little bit. I should have waited here, but there was a big. I should have picked it up here the next hour. These are the hourly candles, but there was a big bid-ask spread, and I set my order at the bid, and I got filled. It happens. Okay. Now, I had bought these on the 20th, which was Wednesday. Um, I had bought the next Friday's calls, so I had time. I didn't have all the time in the world, but I had time, right? And... Um, and I sold them today at 9.59 a.m. sharp. That is at the end of this candle. Boom. I sold them for a decent gain, 18.31. Had I hold them, had I held them a few minutes longer, I would have actually hit my 30% goal, which is great, but um a number why I didn't do that. These, uh, th this pattern is not my bread and butter. It's a different pattern and it comes... Um, my, my last trade in this pattern was a loss. Um, one second, give me... let me give you the exact number. Yeah, it was a 20.29% loss, right? Um, so, I was... I had to keep in mind that this pattern was not working great, um, or that I didn't know how to apply it great. And uh, also, if you notice, 
once I picked it up here. The next day it hit this level and it went down. And notice how this day it couldn't break this level. Hit this level, went down. Got near to this level, went down. Today we actually got down and thanks to a beautiful first hour or first half hour in the mornings, in the morning, we broke, we just broke over this level. And there was momentum, there was momentum, it might still keep going, but my psychology wasn't fully there. I was itching to get out of this trade. I had missed a break, break even exit a number of times. And also, um, yesterday morning, I had missed uh, an exit like today. Um, so I could tell that this trade was managing me instead of me managing it. So I was very happy to get out for a decent gain. Again, it was it was 18 something, 18.31%. And surely enough, look, it's falling. It might just recover and you know go to 188 within a couple of hours. I don't know, but yeah, I'm I'm happy I got out. It is Friday. Traditionally, I don't trade great on Fridays. Um, and I also have other things to do today regarding last night's presentation. I have to edit the video and all of that. So like I have said in the past, life comes first, trading comes second. So I'm going to get out of this. Well, I got out of this trade because my psychology wasn't there. I was getting a win in a pattern or in a strategy that gave me a loss earlier this month and it is Friday when I traditionally don't trade too well and I have other things to do that require my, my attention, right? So I'm going to go ahead, call it quits for the day and quit while I'm ahead. Also, one thing that I want to say about this pie, this pie retested this level, which is what I thought it was going to do. But even though it bounced up, it's not wowing me with its strength up, right? So it is almost 10.30, volatility is going to be there for a little bit longer, but not too much longer. So instead of burning my mental capital and burning my eyelids in front of the computer and possibly getting stressed out, um, I'm just going to quit while I'm ahead, collect my gains, sleep flat over the weekend, you know, just spend the weekend completely in cash, which is an amazing feeling. And come Monday, it'll be a brand new week. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, guys. So yeah, regarding the presentation, it will be uploaded in a few days or hopefully today, if, if I'm lucky. And um, yeah, that's going to be that's going to be it for today. Now I'm going to go ahead and post my trade on Twitter. And I wish you all a great weekend. All right. Okay. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye.